Okay, I let this dry overnight and everything looks good. Uh, now I need to take the tape off and I'll take it over to my drum sander and I will sand it down to the exact thickness that I need it to be. Now that the core is the correct thickness, I'm going to trim the pieces up a little bit before I glue them. Now that I have my core and my veneers trimmed to size, there's one more thing that I need to do. Many times with figured wood, such as quilted cedar, the way the grain structure is, whenever it dries, sometimes it tries to twist and, uh, and it doesn't stay flat. Um, it also gets very rigid. Um, so it is cooked to cedar. That's what I've got going on. Uh, one, it, it's, not, it's not real flexible, but also it's not flat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna condition it with a wood conditioner and then I will press it in in my press until it dries and what that will do is it'll one, make it perfectly flat so that it'll lay down flat on the core. And also it makes it more flexible and less likely to crack. This vacuum press applies over 18 pounds per square inch. That's a lot of pressure. Now that my faceplate core and veneers are prepared, it's time to glue them up and put them in the press. Okay, so I just pulled my panels out of the press. So let's look and see what they look like. All right, we'll let these sit overnight. And tomorrow, they'll be ready to attach to the drum. Before I attach these to the shell, uh, I need to do a, some milling on it. I want to get it to a little bit closer to the final size and I need to mark and drill the holes for the screws. But before I do all that, I'm going to apply a sealer coat of shellac. Um, the shellac is going to bring out some of the, the grain. It's going to make it pop a little. And also uh, when that hardens, it'll, it'll make it easier for me to mill this uh, because this quilted cedar, um, when you're milling it, it can tend to, to chip out and the shellac will prevent that from happening.
It really does make the grain pop. Now that my sealer coat has dried, I'm gonna lay out my drill pattern and then I'll head over to the drill press and I will go ahead and drill the holes for the screws. Now that I have the face plates set where I want them, I'm going to trim them flush on the router table. Now that I have my face plates where I want them and trimmed to size, I will finish laying out my drill pattern and get it ready to attach to the shell. Now the face plates are attached and I'm going to round over the corners just to make it a little more comfortable to play. All right, this drum is really beginning to come together. It's gonna to be amazing. I'll take it apart now and there's a whole lot of sanding to do.